in Jude 1 14 it's written that 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 God will come with his holy ones tens of thousands of his holy ones to 144,000 okay for judgment they are here to judge but it's not like the world thinks they're carrying that weapon of love all right they're showing the world that love is the most powerful force in the world and love is what will destroy all the enemies of God but all those who have been weaponized have been in the refiner's fire okay they have been purified and it's written in Psalms chapter 40 that God has pulled him out of the pit you know he's singing about God pulled me out of the pit what is the pit it's hell all right that's where we've been in that refiner's fire. So whenever it's written about Zechariah putting a third in the refiner's fire, they've been put in the pit, all right, being burned away. In Revelation 9, it's written about the fifth angel, okay? Now, the fifth, the number five, represents grace, and it also represents the law. But in this case, it represents grace. And the fifth angel has the key. Remember, we have the keys to the kingdom, right? He opens up the key, the key opens up the bottomless pit, all right? And we're redeemed from there. The 144,000 have been redeemed from the earth. That means they've been purchased from the earth, all right? Doesn't mean you're literally leaving the earth, okay? They've been redeemed from all this falsity. They've had all this stuff burned away. They've been freed. They've been bought, okay? And whenever they open up that pit, smoke comes out of it, all right? Because it is a huge fire. We've been in there. Why? I can tell you now, the 144,000, they know grace. They understand grace, all right? It's not this false grace that we see in the world right now. But it's written there in, in Revelation that 9-11 that, that of all, that, that they have a king over them, the destroyer. All right? And everybody thinks, that's, that's the devil, that's Satan. It ain't. All right? We are the destroyer. We were made for this purpose. All right? We come out of that pit, and what we're to do is to shake people's false beliefs, to burn all that mess away, to show them that love is what conquers everything. Love is the answer. That is the perfect religion, if you want to say that. But they're here to torment all those without the mark of God on their forehead, all right, for five months. And five months is 153 days. And you remember the 153 fish that the apostles, the disciples pulled up and their nets didn't bust, all right? That, that is, is it's, it represents 1.53 billion people out of 8 billion people that will be hauled in for the great harvest. Remember that the many are called, but few are chosen. 1.53 billion out of eight, that's a very small number. That, that five months is not a literal number. It's just for those who have eyes to see, they can see that it's 153, that it's, it's all about destroying these people's, this false world, this false image of God that they have built for us to destroy that and shake them to their core, all right? Cause a great shaking and to let it burn all away before them so that they will truly come to God in a, a, with a pure heart, like a child. The child doesn't bring anything with him. He just comes by himself. They're not trying to bring their works or any false beliefs with them just to get them to the point of being a child and come to God and then they will be hauled up. Everything else is burned away, is tormented. But that word says they will torment them. Their sting is like torment. That means, that word in Greek is basamos or basilius. It means a soapstone. It's what you use to mark gold or silver. When it comes out of the fire, you mark it. You, you hit it with the stone, and if it leaves a mark, it's ready, it's good. If it doesn't leave a mark, it's gotta go back in the fire for some time. Right? And then it comes back out. It's to be tested. 
All right, it's not what the left behind books and the left behind movies and stuff has portrayed about people being literally stung by scorpions and they're in agony for five months. I remember when I first became born again, I, I hadn't even really read the Bible or anything. And I remember telling my mom and pop that I was gonna have me a horse and a chariot. It's gonna be amazing, you know? And, and I, I was seeing stuff in the spirit, but I was trying to explain it to them. My mom and pop, I love my mom and pop. They've always been so good to me. And not once did they ever say, you're being deceived, you need to be careful. They were always amazed at by the things God would show me. And because of my belief, because of what God done in my life, they seen it firsthand. They have true belief now. Remember, it's written, your faith can save your family. The faith that God gives me has saved my family because there's no denying it. They can never say there is no God, and God is love. It's his love that changed me. But I was always telling them, God's gonna give me this horse. I'm gonna have this horse and this chariot and stuff, you know? And then when you read in Joel chapter two about, about this army, and how they don't get in each other's way. They doing their things and it's calling it the day of the Lord, the day of the Lord, all right? But it says that they're in these chariots and they, they crackling like fire, all right? They're fire, These are they're in their merkabas, all right? They come out of that fire like a swarm of bees, a swarm of scorpions, all right? Coming out of their locusts, out of that, that purification fire, coming out to do their job. They've been in the presence of God. These people, the sleeper has been awakened within them. Wake, O sleeper, and rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Remember my dream, 114 throne of God. His light shines on you, and his light, as long as you're within his light, will keep you pure and focused. But we're here to torment the people who have false religion. But they're sincere people. They want to know God. They just got, they've been taught all the wrong ways. So we're here to torment them, but not in a bad way, just so that they can see the truth. When I was coming to know God, I didn't see it as a good thing. It was torture, all right? I had to go through hell to finally come to know God, all right? But it was necessary. It had to be done. And now that I look back at it, I wouldn't have it any other way. The day of the Lord for me was June 14th of 2012, all right? That's when he, he burned me up, he consumed me like fire. All right, and, and Peter, in 2 Peter chapter 3, it's written about the day of the Lord and how the fire, this great fire, will burn all of the elements of the world. Now, carnal-minded people, you know, the Left Behind series and the Hollywood's rapture and all that stuff, They'll have you think, well, that's the elementary, elemental chart. Aluminum and iron and this and that, you know, and everything is burned up in this world and this world is going to be destroyed. But that's not what it means. It means the elemental teachings of the early Christians, false teachings, and the elemental teachings, the, the, the first teachings the, of Judaism, false religion, all right? All those false stuff, those, those ceremonial stuff, rituals and routine that mean absolutely nothing to God, all of that stuff is burned away. And if you know grace, you know what I'm talking about. You will never boast and say that any works that you ever did made it possible for you to see the throne of God. It was when all that stuff was taken away from you, stripped away and burned away, that you were able to see it. All right? It means for all of that, the, 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 the false teachings of the world are burned away. And that's what we're here for, the army of the Lord. We do everything in love and we constantly, we never let up. We never stop talking about love. I've had people unsubscribe my channel because they were all hung up about the Sabbath and this or that. And I just keep speaking the words that God gives me to speak and showing people, look, love, grace, all this comes with action, all right? It, it, it's not a plastic, it's it, it, a fake grace or love, it's real. 
And I say, look at me, not look at me, but look what God has done with me. I'm just some old dude from Northeast Texas, a nobody that never knew anything about God, the Bible, any of this stuff. And now I'm here on top of a mountain in the middle of the jungle in Southeast Asia, screaming at the top of my lungs about God's love everywhere I go and feeding thousands and thousands of children, women, men, and children, feeding them spiritually and physically. And it's all because of God's grace within me. I can't ever say that I did it. I look back sometimes at myself and I'm like, wow, that's me. I can't believe that. All those that God has called. Once, once that explosion happened, you know, I told you guys that dream I had. I saw Golgotha as a mountain with crosses on it in the sea. All right. And it started with this flame. This flame started spewing. And then after a while, just boom, it ignited night it here at Golgotha the place of the skull it's my skull it's your skull it's our skulls I saw this fire of love just boom ignite and it destroyed everything in the sea all the fish the whales the dolphins and stuff remember Jesus walked on water the disciples rode the boat in the wind and the waves the storm the pigs the demon said, throw us in, the, let us go in in pigs. And they went in the pigs and they ran off the cliff into the sea, the lake. All right? Remember, don't cast your pearls among the swine. All right? There's swine down there too. All right? These false religious leaders and things of the world. The sea in my dream, all of that was destroyed. It's because of that. Boom, that ignition. And it starts right here. Jesus was the cross in the middle. Whenever both thieves turned to him, stopped relying on their hands to do their work and just turned to him, boom, that fire of love will ignite and it destroys everything around you. You're an ascended master. You're riding your Merkaba. I've had my horse and chariot for a long time, Mom, Pop. Anyway, I love you all. God bless.